So I'm gonna go around the you see how big the military area is, yeah. Still military grounds, huh? So very well guarded and um, still belongs to the military here. They have when we have um, um, men killed in combat, of course we still we don't have any wars now, but we are present in different uh, scenes, war scenes, and with uh, something happening, then um, then uh, someone dies, then uh, they're always being they have the commemorations here. That's uh, always very solemn. So uh, still a special place here. Well, um, also the uh, military hospital that's here is 100 bed left, beds left here. Um, I remember there was a man, I think he's died, in, I haven't seen him in a couple of years. There was a man from the Second World War, a French man, a war invalid as well. He had lost his two, two legs, he was often sitting in a wheelchair. And he often was around, he talk, was talking to the tourists. It was really nice and telling stories and blah, blah, blah. I haven't seen him in a long time now, but he lived there for was taken care of. And also uh, now it's more of a training hospital, but we got came well to use when we had the Bataclan attack in 2015. And uh, because this terror terrorist attack, they shot the young uh, people with uh, Kalashnikovs clothes and stuff like that. So uh, the normal hospitals uh, doctors they didn't know how to treat. There was like warlike wounds. But they had expertise here, so the worst wounded uh, so, uh, people came here, and 22 of them, and they were all saved. All of them survived. Awesome. Look here on the right hand side, you see very soon in the garden here, you see a thinker, which is a really famous statue by yeah. Auguste Rodin. Can you see the thinker oh, yeah. there on the right? Yeah. There He's sitting there with his back here against us, yeah. thinking about uh, life, maybe death. Love. Maybe wow. just thinking, where did I put my clothes again? I forgot. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know what he's thinking. He's thinking about something, that's for sure. This is the Rodin Museum. It's a really nice, yeah. very small museum. We're going to come around here. You're going to see the cannons in front. Those cannons were actually uh, stolen on the 14th of, Ju 14th of July, 1789. And uh, this uh, was a time when um, we had French Revolution, of course, the Bastille Day, to celebrate. Uh, every year with a big parade on the Champs de Sea, and um, they um, actually stole the cannons from here, dragged them all over the city to Bastille, which is on the opposite side. And uh, then when they came there, they wanted to shoot with them. They had forgotten to bring the gunpowder, so they couldn't oh. use them. It was a bit stupid, <laughs> but they could scare people with them, so it was okay. And they would be put back. So they actually historical cannons from uh, the French Revolution, well, the from from before that. But uh, you can see them here coming on the left hand side and if you also this is so sad because you know here up until uh, a couple of months I don't get that one swear um they they used to be rabbits skim, skipping away around here really really cute rabbits and uh, up until February March there were so many of them because they couldn't get out and they couldn't get in so they were a bit inbred as well the poor things um, and the city of Paris said we have to do something with this and they said we're not going to kill them but we're going to bring them away we're going to capture them um, and they did this in the middle of the night and then they said we have spoken <laughs> to um, a farmer would be a really big countryside the farmer not a small farm and he uh, have place for all the rabbits so we're bringing them there so they can leave, live in the countryside don't you doesn't it ring a bell bell in a way your parents and an animal that died and said, no, don't worry, the dog is living on the, on the farm, he's happy, <laughs> running in the grass. Right. So we think they killed them, but we don't know. They pull rabbits from the invalid dog. Hmm. But they say that they live on the farm somewhere outside of Paris now. Somewhere. <laughs> the prochain. Because here, here it's too risky. Because it's too risky. You can, if you want, but... So we're going to turn now, we're going to go on the, see everything's closed here, 
for the Olympics and uh, instead of uh, going down to the messy area uh, we are going to take the right straight, straight way here we're going on my favorite street in Paris this is my favorite street because it's always clear and open um, because it's just behind uh, our Congress Assemblée Nationale so it's so heavily guarded there's no one here uh, you see the cameras everywhere the French, French flags and everything everything is official buildings so uh, if someone parks badly here they will be taken away in like two seconds that's for sure so it's pretty look at this one of the few streets in Paris is always clear you see the cameras everywhere here very don't do anything stupid here that's for sure but here on the left hand side you see the, this is where the politicians the, the um, in the national assembly that uh, vote all the laws they come in here and then the next gate as well and uh, there are 577 of them who sit working here and uh, if you take a look now on the left hand side you will see, actually be able to see, look into the courtyard a little bit you see a little bit of the courtyard there yeah that's the back entrance of the uh, congress house Continuing now and going uh, towards your restaurant should be on time, but uh, as as you have seen, the traffic here is not reliable at all anymore. But cross your fingers now; it's going to be okay, I think. I'm coming down the Saint Germain de Pré area again, where we actually drove before, so um, we'll pass by there. But is, we think, the best way to come to your restaurant. No, the other side is so messy with the, um, by the river. It's one of the worst places in Paris at this time of the day. Uh, the Quai de Ripoux, but go ahead. Once it took me from Concorde to Châtelet, it took me one and a half hour. Because of the Tour de France. It's 
because no, of the Olympics again. No, no. Uh, three or four weeks ago, the uh, just before the tunnel, you know, when you go out to your side, you know, the tunnel they set up, and they found um, that the, the the road had started to, um, yeah, uh, like happened in Genoa, you know, the bridge. So they found it here before it happened. Okay. And One more they, thing. <laughs> so they closed the road. Now going from Versailles into Paris is okay for cars, not more than three and a half tons. So the buses have to go around. It takes about one hour, depending on the traffic. It's Saturday, so it's good. So one hour uh, from Paris or one, one hour, hour extra? No, no, no. One hour from Paris. From like the Arco Triumph, normally you could do it in 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, you know it's one hour. I from checked Arco from my hotel. Yeah. My hotel is Okay, yes. So it is it's kind of 50 minutes from me, and it was kind of half an hour from Versailles. Okay, I mean that's good because oh, very good. Maybe because I you're in the south, you skip it. But when you come back to Paris, you have to count that you need to um, go through round. Normally, it's um, I don't know. I I've, I've refused to do Versailles this year because yeah, it's crazy up there. So, so let's say from from. The end of the tour from Versailles. Add 20 minutes. Add 20 minutes that we normally have going into Paris. Add 20 minutes left. 20 minutes extra. Yeah. So I have to come with an hour at least. It's Saturday, so it might be well. To get to the. Like, let's say Versailles, Saturday, when the work The thing is that they close as well tomorrow. They will close all the Concorde. So everyone's going to be confused around the Concorde. So, and to get to the Louvre, I would do um, avoid city center, uh, go up on the peripheric, come down, come in, um, let's say, Malzerbe, maybe. Tell me, I won't remember. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, um, uh, tu évites Concorde, tout ce qui est son Concorde, tu évites. Tu viens de l'Opéra pour prendre, pour aller, pour faire ton tour. Ça prend une heure environ de aller. Versailles à Paris avec le A13 qui est coupé. Donc il euh, faut partir à l'heure et surtout pas passer par euh, Proche de Concorde. Moi je partirai 1h15 avant euh, pour euh, être sûr. Hein. Look here, we see the cafés again. You saw them before? Uh, and uh, you see Café de Fleur, it's here where Simone de Beauvoir and Jean Paul Sartre, the French uh, existentialist in the 15th, 1950s, they used to sit here and write. And th this is so old fashioned, typical Parisian cafes uh, with uh, waiters that have uh, the, the apron and everything. It's so, so typical Paris. And next uh, cafe is uh, where Hemingway used to sit and also. Baldwin, the African American writers, Baldwin and Wright, they used to sit here as well. Um, Hemingway, um, F. Scott Fitzgerald, so this is really. Huh? And there you have the Canadian monument on the right hand side. I think your claim is much nicer, that's for sure. I'm not even saying that to flatter you, that's. Uh, not in competition either. So this, if you like rum, you don't have really time, and maybe you come back to Paris, uh, the rum place that will come on the left hand side, they have rums from, uh, rum from everywhere in the world, and uh, they have been there since the 1920s. There's a real institution in Paris. Don't forget we have the French West Indies, they do really good rum there, so it's something that's actually in the Places like Guadeloupe, Martinique, they're still French actually. And they, it's like, but it's very far away from here. But look here, there are many. Oh, there's plenty of people in there drinking the nice rum. <laughs> no, yeah, sorry. Um, so, yeah, start one hour, 15 minutes, I will start from my side to be sure. Because you can't really miss your stop times now. So um, that's uh, uh, if I leave at one, I think it's at two. Mm. The worst. The worst. It should be okay. I'm gonna 
I never know. I, I know, both I, know spot, it, yeah. but I don't know yeah. either. So I showed that. Square. And I said, look, it's a supermarket, yeah. La Bayana. Yeah. Uh, so this is what I told you. We could reach a window. I see it. Let's see how's the weather. I've been here. I'm probably hmm? that. Because look at the traffic, you never know. No, I know. Uh, I'm so terrified. The yeah, only no. one time that I got in advance to the loop room, yeah. I got a marathon at the last kilometer. Yeah. I had a few running yeah, and I got no. one. Okay, and at least if you if you go straight away, you can always tell yourself, I did everything in my possible yeah. to, to act, you know, yeah. it's, it's difficult, but I, I think it's really nice to stay at the deep and like, honestly, I, I wouldn't risk it. Cali Royale is really nice as well. Yeah. If it would have been a boring place for them to eat, yeah, but it's not. One of my favorites is by on the um, in the square Colette, you, just in the entrance <laughs> to the Palais Royal. There's a big cafe. Yeah, it's uh, really nice. and that's the why one we need exactly, exactly, exactly. Cool. I love that cafe, and it's not yeah. that that expensive. Mm. It's quite reasonable, yeah. and the food is really, it's not very simple food, but it's really good. The, the yeah, yeah. Exactly. and it's really and I love sitting there. It's uh, yeah, because you see all the people passing by. Yeah, exactly. It's typical. Yeah. yeah. One of my favorite places. It's yeah. really well. I hope at least it doesn't rain. Because if you go overseas, then yeah. everything gets worse. We'll see you again. Now we're not far from um, Chatera. Just at the end, uh, the next red light, next lights, it's on left. We cross the bridge, and then uh, there are Chatera. And just hoping, praying that there's no blockage there. Et on arrive à Bouddha Saint-Michel. Et, euh, et là, on traverse direct. Et on arrive. Et tu, là où tu étais, là où tu as débuté, là où tu as commencé, c'est parfait. Si la place est libre, c'est nickel. C'est mieux que l'hôtel de ville. Et l'hôtel de ville, c'est pas légal. Le seul place légal, c'est deux places vers le tour Saint-Jacques. C'est tout ce qui est légal. Donc, euh, ah, okay. tu es aussi bien là. <rire> je savais pas. Ouais. L'hôtel de ville, c'est pas légal. Euh, mais c'est tout les C'est plein. Voilà. Tu peux rien faire. Il y a que deux places. Non, pas ici, pardon. Euh, le, voilà. Ah oui, voilà. Et euh, non, je ne peux pas en plus. <rire> euh, non, c'est vraiment ça. Euh, mais tout le monde s'arrête à l'hôtel de ville, mais c'est pas légal. Ah. Mais tu sais pourquoi j'adore que les gens font Parce que le, un des deux mecs qui est responsable du tourisme et de circulation à Paris, il a son bureau là. Et ça l'énerve, il a dit, quand je suis arrivé nous avec eux, il dit, mais ça m'énerve, il s'arrête pile devant ma fenêtre là. Il dit, ah bah là, il <rire> faut faire des parkings à Paris pour les gars. Tu veux faire marcher sur toi Oui, ça, c'est bien. Oui, ça, c'est bien. Normal. Yeah.
Yeah, they do. They do. Right. Yeah, you just you don't have any lines. No, but you just can't drive. Hey. They know the situation is terrible. Honestly, if they they can't that. No, but this guy is our. Yeah. No, the ones in Britain yeah. were very thin, like very uh, yeah. narrow. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, that's good. That's good. I like plums. I really, I, I know that uh, um, yes, uh, some uh, students say, ah, I want to be something else. This is I think plums. it's good. This is I plums. saw plums. Okay. No, plums, I've ah. been there. I one, like plums. One at a time, the, okay. the thing that they call pizza, which yeah, they call in my heart is not, I know, it's I know. really good though. Uh, if so I don't yeah. think about it as pizza, it's no, really No, it's good. not pizza. It's, it's from the, the from cushion. It's a cup from me. Okay. From the from Alsace, Alsace. It's too, the speciality from Alsace. It's really nice. Yeah, by like on the F menu, right? A pizza, pizza yeah, I know. Like I think we, they uh, the tour director when they had a uh, Giuliano, the mate from um, right from Naples. He said, "Yes, we're going to eat Alsace and it's eating pizza." He was, like, was, he was in his heart. He was like, "Don't call it pizza." <laughs> <laughs> we have oh, one quite strict on the pizza topic. <laughs> by the way, it is really good. I but like it's really, it. Yeah, it's the really guys good. are nice. It's really organized. Yeah. It, it, it's so this is a normal restaurant show. So no, okay. this is another chain because I think I mean a small one because yeah. I think it's not the only one. It's called a name that I can pronounce like Kirk. Actually, the Brits. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Brits is the the. So the Kirk, 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 Kirk. Oh, that's good. Which is really good. Yeah, that's really, really good. good. That's from Brittany. Uh, Brit is the name of uh, Brittany on Britain. Uh, <laughs> The, the vision, the, the, the language, which, okay. so that's why so great. Bring, bring me some. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. <laughs> right. oh, got it. So, guys, perfect. We're getting, uh, we are not that far now. We're hopefully crossing our fingers that this will be the last of the traffic jams we saw. And on the right hand side, you will see the Roman ruins. You see how good the Romans were at building. And uh, this is from 200 after Christ on the right hand side in the corner there. That uh, used to be Roman baths because the Romans were building. Remember, I told you they came here in 52 before Christ and they built uh, things here and they were very clean. Uh, it's actually for the soldiers because they would strengthen them with the hot and cold baths. And it's still standing. See how good the Romans were at building, huh? Incredible. Mm -hmm. and there are quite a few uh, Roman statues uh, and uh, Roman statues, Roman ruins here. And uh, even a special friendship with Rome because Paris, since 1860, is built on seven hills, like Rome. So we have a special friendship with uh, the Romans. They can go free into all city museums in Paris, and we can go free in all city museums in Rome, if you can prove that. And it's also a city in the in, uh, United States that is built on seven hills. Difficult to know. I don't think that you would know it. Really, I didn't know it until last year when people from that town told me. Cincinnati. Cincinnati is built on seven hills. They also have a special friendship with Rome. So uh, they, uh, we have both gotten statues of Romulus and Remus um, and the wolf so from Rome. And uh, theirs actually got stolen the other year. But they're going to get a new one apparently. <laughs> so, but we still have one here in the Latin Quarter. All the Roman neighborhood. And Lutes on the left hand side, the cafe, that's Lutes, it's the old Roman name of the city. Um, Paris was called Paris first of the Paris people, and the Romans came and renamed it to Lutes, Lutetia, which was the Roman name of the city. So when you see a cafe, it's called Lutes, it's always named after the Roman name of the city of Paris. And then we switch back to Paris. Weekend, it's probably going to be better in the weekend. Hopefully. Why is it? 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 Why is it?
je fais un tour le matin et un le soir, euh, l'après-midi. Je fais deux tours par. Euh, Now by Place Saint Michel, with the fountain on the left hand side. This is like the heart of the Latin Quarter. A lot of uh, students often come here. And the Notre Dame Cathedral. Look on the right. We saw it before. We see it again. It's nice, huh? So happy that it uh, spirals up again, and uh, it will soon be be there to be able to go in. Next year. And ah, I'm not gonna scream of joy yet, but um, ah, it doesn't look that bad. It should be okay. See the entrance here that's uh, to the Saint Chapelle where they had the most beautiful stained glass windows in the world. They are amazing that, uh, that little chapel made for to house the uh, crown of thorns of Jesus. Often I could get it. Often I don't think really we need it, but they told us no, they tell us to give to take it. I know. Uh, my bad, because when well, we walk, it. it's easy for me to like, <laughs> yeah. remember that it's about to be. Good, but good. I'm happy you relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> That's better <laughs> for everyone. Not stress. Slower. No. Yeah, as soon as I ever get older, I, I stop stressing. It's no use. No, all of the stress is gone. Just once I went through the situation, yeah. everything was gone. The information is true. So you're like flowing. Yeah. And it's fine. So tomorrow's going to be a little bit more thrilling. Sometimes we have to have a little bit of adrenaline now. That's why it's your job. It's your job, yeah, exactly. But, uh, it's your job. I, 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 to be honest, I don't like to be too regulated. But after London and Paris, it's kind of okay. Now, nothing like will happen. Even if the worst happened, I know how to fix it. Yeah, you are home as well. Look on the left hand side, that's the uh, entrance to the Palace of Justice. The old, we have a new one actually out in the outskirts of Paris now. At this, uh, the new palace of justice but this is still being used for some trials especially when there are high um famous things so they have to put on trial they often use this one and now we're coming where we started so we're going to start with the uh, at the chatelier there are two big theaters there. there's a lot of cafes around and uh, in the middle you have a fountain this fountain is actually a fountain made by napoleon bonaparte when he took power and he made himself emperor, he knew that not everyone would like him. But uh, he and he asked one of his men, the high um, people working for him, saying, "How would I would I make myself popular with the Parisians?" Because they really didn't really like him. He was from the south, from Corsica, and um, and they said uh, they, 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 he told them that you give the Parisians free drinking water, then uh, they will love you. Because we Paris at this time beginning of 19th century we had really polluted water uh, so many people were alcoholics because they drank water instead of water they drank beer and wine they couldn't they didn't ever have a choice and um, we only had drinking fresh drinking water for like two hours a day and they had to pay for it so he had made uh, several canals and he brought fresh drinking water from outside into Paris and he made like 20 uh, fountains this was one of the biggest ones. It's called the uh, palm tree fountains because there are palm trees uh, on it. And it's also very smart because if you look at this this fountain here, it's not on today, huh? uh, but um, it's actually uh, the wing up there that's the victory, uh, goddess of victory. She's standing up there and uh, and uh, it's celebrating one of his victory in, victories in Egypt. So a uh, lot of Egyptian team on it. So it was propaganda at the same time that it was functioning as a as a fountain. It's quite a smart guy, yeah, Napoleon. What's
balik Hello, I'm going to go straight to the left. No. No. Okay. I mean, it's motel. I think we have no, no, it doesn't help. <laughs> and we're almost there. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go straight to the left